Huge shout out to Synergy. Synergy is the software that lets you share one mouse and one keyboard between multiple computers. We've reviewed it in the past and it works like magic. Check out the link in the video description. The brand spanking new Nvidia Shield TV is here and it comes with a lot of changes. It's 4K and HDR ready and it comes with support for Netflix 4K HDR and Amazon Video 4K HDR. And Nvidia is directly claiming that their device has more 4K content in terms of shows than any other smart TV device on the market, which is pretty wicked if you have a TV that can display that. And they even have 360 video support through YouTube if you're into that kind of thing. On the gaming side of things, it still has access to NVIDIA Game Stream, so you can use your desktop PC to do all the legwork of actually running your games, and then use your network to send it to the NVIDIA Shield and play it on your TV with like controller pass-through and all that kind of fun stuff. But now in 4K and HDR, which is great, just like Netflix and Amazon. And now you have access to GeForce Now, so you can pay NVIDIA to access Pascal performance through the cloud, just in case you don't have a super nice gaming PC already. Physically, the 16 gigabyte version has gotten four 40% smaller, while the 500 gigabyte version is essentially the same size, and it has retained its old and great looking aesthetic. But I must add that both of the new Shields have the same Tegra X1 processor that the old Shield had. Performance wise, it's not different. And that means that if you had the previous Shield, like I do, so this is a nice note for me, you'll just be able to download software updates and have all of the software features, including ones that I haven't mentioned yet, on your older Shield. They also now both have IR receivers so you can control the volume on your TV, which is actually nice as before it was only compatible with certain TVs. I think most of them were Sony, but whatever. Also the controller is getting dual haptic feedback so you can feel vibrations in your games. Even with game stream, if you're shooting it over the network, it still works. The 16 gigabyte version has a slightly narrowed down IO feature set than the 500 gig. I believe the main lacking feature is SD cards, but I don't expect a huge amount of people will use those because there's a USB port. If you just want to put a big USB drive, that probably makes a little bit more sense. And both of them have Google Assistant, just like the Google Home, making this a solid replacement for the Google Home considering the 16 gigabyte version only costs, I think about 60 or $70 more and has a massively increased feature set. Meaning that if you set it up, you can do something like, okay, Google, start my day. And you can have the lights and the thermostat and the coffee pot all turn on and get ready to go. And then when you're ready to leave, you can just say, okay, Google, I'm leaving. And all of those things can turn off and whatnot. To expand the smart home compatibility, you can plug in a smart things extender and get stuff like your coffee pots and all that whatnot extended. I believe that's from Samsung. You can pick up one of those and it's compatible with your Nvidia Shield. Then there's the Nvidia Spot, which will act as a mic and a speaker and you can plug them in anywhere in your home as they're just little adapter things that go into a standard wall plug. These will expand your Google Assistant throughout your house for 50 bucks a pop. And if that's really freaking you out a lot, you can put it into privacy mode through the app on your phone or through the Shield software or possibly a couple other ways. The 16 gigabyte version of the Shield will cost $199 just like before and the 500 gigabyte version will cost $299 also just like before. I'll probably have a review coming later on. Thanks again to Synergy for allowing us to be here at CES. Synergy is a software download that allows you to share one mouse and one keyboard between multiple computers regardless of the OS. So you'll no longer confuse which keyboard is for your Windows workstation, which one's for your Mac one, and which one's for your Linux one. So check it out at the link in the video description.